so this is um, a journal I've just uh, finished the bones of. So I've done some stitching, I've put some edges on and I've sewn it into the cover. And I thought it might be interesting for you to see it before it had all the additions. Um, this has got quite a stiff cover, so it's going to spring open a bit, but it's actually really quite flat. So if you just wanted to write in this, you could do so. Um, obviously, I've put pockets and things in for um, extra bits. So let me just give you a very quick whiz through so you can just see it in its raw little flip out there, little raw state. And then obviously I'll go away um, and fill it the way I usually do um, with bits of bobs, the extras. Let's see the pockets. I think there's five pockets. Um, I usually try and keep it fairly even. So I think there's five pockets each side, but there may be other additions as well that I put in. So let's get back to the proper flip through. So um, I'm back with my journal updates and this is the uh, the journal that I showed you um, empty, uh, now full. Still closes with these um, ties quite compactly, shall we say. <laughs> Uh, these measure, um, as you know, if you watch me regularly, these measure approximately eight by five and a half. Um, so I've opened it so you can see how it sits when it's full of stuff. Still not massive. I do try these days to leave um, a fair bit of writing room and uh, stuff that you can take out, obviously, so that um, you can use it as you'd like to. So this is fabric um, over card with some Tim Holtz paper on the inside here. Um, this is a little front pocket. I've just got, uh, what's this, 1922 check and a rag paper old French book page in there and one of these vintage um, cigarette cards from the dog series. This pocket's got a little dangle on it. This is a probably a Tim Holtz um, image. Got a velvet ribbon tab and a little glass bead dangle and in there there's um, Sorry, words are going because I was looking for a date. <laughs> Just a receipt, there isn't a date on it. I think it's um, around uh, 1929 on there. I don't know if that's the date of the, um, of the actual document, but it's certainly around that time. Another page, another French page. Um, Again, that lovely sort of soft rag paper and this is a little tag that I've put together. I've just mounted it on some wrapping paper there. So that's that one. Um, got a little collage down here, a little mini collage. This is a um, result of the tea dyeing over a plastic doily. This is an envelope flip out. Um, and there's a little of those CDV cabinet cards in there. That's an original. And under this envelope, um, that's a ruby and pearl image, I think. I think that's another Tim Holtz. Um, this is an old letter in this pocket. This is a page from a vintage French um, exercise book. And this is another French, um, it's not a document, but it's a 1924 uh, magazine. So a little double pocket here. Uh, I think this was from a vintage document of some description and a little cigarette card there. This is a more contemporary flower fairy postcard. Uh, 
um, a tall flag made from, um, this is like a, a strip, a sort of, um, it's like the Tim Holtz, um, what did he call them? Can't remember. But anyway, a collage strip that you can see there. Here, um, I brewed on some pieces here from a 1883 um, envelope. I've used it here to make a pocket. Um, it was falling apart, but I thought you might like the pieces that came off. They've um, got various stamps on them, postage stamps. And this is just a journal card. And it was so fragile, I had to put it over um, some paper to make it into a pocket. But it has got some beautiful writing. It says to the Reverend J. Crossley, I think that is, Hampton Court Palace, um, April the 23rd, London, April the 23rd, 1883. I think that's probably the oldest um, envelope I've ever had. And that's a postcard. No stamp on that one. Another of those velvet um, tabs with a little dangle. This is from an old book. In this pocket, um, I've got a decorated computer card, 1937 document, and a photograph from the 1950s. The collage here. This is from a children's book, and on there I've put um, an envelope from 1953. It's empty, so you can fill that with what you like. And that's a Beatrix Potter. Some old ledger paper with a little collage. Um, in this pocket, I've got another of those. Um, dog photographs from the cigarette album and a really really old piece of um, vintage paper there and in here there's a document from I don't think there's a date on it to be honest that's what that looks like and a receipt I can't remember how I had that now Something like that, I guess. I was like the colour showing. <laughs> Very fussy. <laughs> this is a little wrap around. It's on some vintage note paper. Uh, in this pocket, um, it's a paper bag. And this is from an old autograph book. of a tab I'll show you the middle that was the middle of this one it's a vintage image here uh, I've got a double pocket so in the back there's another of those book pages and a photograph from the 40s I believe 40s or 50s and this is um, a document from 1925 into that pocket. In here, this is a couple of pages from, um, as you can see, Deanery magazine from 1923. Uh, the front page and then the, I think it's the back page with the adverts on. And postcard. Again, taken local to me. This is a tag within a tag. Um, 
an envelope. Uh, I think it's Swedish. Um, sort of a letter. Um, probably to do with the Second World War and military standard letter card that people would have used. In this one, I have got um, 1947 French document. He's done a lot of writing on the back of that one. In 1948. <laughs> and that's just a card that I put together. Tab. That's made out of an old French book page. Tea dye. And then there's um, a fabric pocket here. And in that, I have got a scrap of ledger, a book page, and some more of that rag paper. I um, can't remember if that's French or Italian. But various bits and pieces that you can use for collage. And another of those little dangles. And then in the back... Um, four pages from the 1832 Penny Magazine. So this is um, the journal completed that will be going into the Etsy shop once this video is up on uh, YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.